Greetings, this is Brent Maxwell, meteorologist for the National Weather Service in San Diego, California. I'm here to give you a briefing on the significant storm system that will be moving through Southern California this Friday through the weekend. And this looks like to be a big storm system, typical of the strength of the strongest storm system that we would get in most winters. Here's a summary. First of all, we've got a weak wave that'll move through Wednesday night and Thursday morning. But it looks like it'll be strong enough with enough moisture to give most people at least some rain, enough to get the streets wet, which means that there may be some slippery driving conditions. Especially be careful if you have older tires, because sometimes they may not be able to handle the slick driving conditions as well as if you have brand new tires on your car. The amounts will not be too impressive with this system compared to the big storm that will be coming up Friday through the weekend. Mostly a quarter of an inch or less, but we could get a little bit more up in San Bernardino County and Orange County. Maybe a few spots will get a half inch. But the big storm will be Friday and Friday night when we have widespread rain, heavy rain at times. There should be street flooding, maybe even some flash flooding going on with just Friday and Friday night, one to two inches along the coast and in the valleys. This is in addition to what we'll get Saturday and Sunday when we get a lot of showers with heavy rainfall at times then. It'll also be quite windy with strong gusty winds in the mountains and deserts and also at the coast too. And I'll show you a map showing the winds a little bit later. There could be gusts over 60 miles per hour in the mountains and the deserts. Of course, we'll have some snow up in the mountains, but for Friday into Friday night, it looks like a pretty warm storm. So most of the snow levels will be up at the resort levels above 7,000 feet. But by Saturday, they should lower to about 6,000 feet as we start to get some colder air moving into the region. Here is the weather impact table showing Obviously, the red for the biggest impact, the rain, heavy at times, Friday, and the heavy rain gradually becoming showery on Saturday. Also, the strong winds are not to be ignored by any means, as well as snowfall in the mountains. If you go up to Big Bear or any place like that, be careful. Make sure that you carry extra supplies in case you get stuck somewhere. Here's the big picture, the weather pattern for Friday and Saturday. You can see the strong upper low that is off the California coast and the jet stream. This map doesn't really quite show the complete picture because there's a strong jet stream pretty much going all the way across the Pacific near our latitude. And that's a good ingredient to have if you want to have a strong storm, storm system with a lot of rainfall. For Southern California. The forecast rainfall amounts for our weaker system that will occur Wednesday night and Thursday looks like mostly a quarter of an inch or less, especially San Diego County being kind of at the south edge of the precipitation. Looks like probably closer to a tenth of an inch there. But up in Orange County and southwest San Bernardino County, there could be some spots that get a half inch or even just a little bit more. But the big story will be Friday morning through Sunday, and you don't see rainfall maps like this too often in Southern California. We certainly haven't seen one in at least a couple of years where we have widespread two-inch amounts storm total near the coast with some areas, even before you get to the mountains, could have three inches. And the mountains will have widespread 3 to 5 inch precipitation totals with local amounts of 7 inches, maybe even 8 inches up on the south slopes of the San Bernardino County Mountains. Of course, some of the precipitation in the mountains will be snow, especially as you go towards the higher peaks. For the maximum wind gusts, and it looks like the strongest winds will be from about midday Friday through Friday evening. We will have some wind gusts over 60 miles per hour in the mountains, especially up in San Bernardino County, and also on some of the desert slopes as well. But take a look at the coast. 
you can see that yellow shading which corresponds to winds between 40 and 44 miles per hour. That's going to be pretty widespread and strongest winds will be at the beaches especially if you have some higher terrain near the beaches. I wouldn't be surprised to see an isolated 50 mile per hour gust there. Especially with the cold front which looks like it's going to move through sometime late Friday or Friday evening. So I hope everybody is ready for the storm system that will happen Friday through the weekend. And just a reminder, make sure that you're prepared for a lot of rain. If you're driving, definitely make sure you have some extra time. If you have old tires, keep that in mind too. That's one of the things that makes it most difficult to drive when it rains here. And make sure you carry an umbrella. That's an easy thing for people to forget, but... I think it's going to be raining hard enough on Friday that most people should be able to rem remember that. So take care and good luck to all of those that have to venture out in the weather.